Hey, Mugumie. Look at Grumpy Gills. Sweet, you want Mugumie. Hey, Mr. Grumpy Gills. When life gets you down, you know what you gotta do? I don't wanna know what you gotta do. So... We ain't found shit! What's up, guys? Welcome back to more Toxic Phantoms. And today, we're taking a look at Finding Nemo. Yeah, get ready for this shit. This is what it feels like. We're just gonna approach this straightforward with no attack plan whatsoever. I, for one, am new to this and I am probably going to be scarred. So, let's just get into it. Right off the bat, I got some uh, memes here. I just watched a film where a man's wife is brutally murdered by a serial killer and his son is left physically disabled. In a twisted turn of events, his son is kidnapped and has to chase the kidnapper thousands of miles with the help of mentally disabled woman. Uh... What was it called? Finding Nemo. Greatest description to what is a really wholesome and nostalgic film. When it comes to creativity with people with Volkswagen Beetles, especially the old ones, I think this one takes the cake for originality because no one looks at their VW Beetle and decides, hmm, I want to make a crack version of Finding Nemo on this fucking car. I'm short, but my dad is high. Teacher, it's tall, not high. The dad. Totally. Those memes were lovely. How about some good ass fan art for once? See now, stuff like this. This is incredible. These are beautifully done. Amazingly done. Blue and yellow being a complementary to each other. The um, detail that went into drawing the fish, especially Crush the Turtle in this one. This is beautifully done, and I wish I could find the artist responsible for this so I could send them, holy shit, you are incredible, keep doing what you're doing. Other computer art like this, I love the way that this is rendered and I love the way that this is done. The only thing I don't exactly like about it is there's too much negative space between Marlin and Nemo, but that's just my opinion, you know? Keep doing what you're doing because this looks incredible. I also have to praise people who take a uh, screenshot from a movie and then convert it into another style. And I know what that process endures, so you gotta give them the best props for that. I really don't know how to describe the style. It kind of reminds me of oil pastels, but it looks amazing. Especially all the detail that goes into the turtle's face. The ocean water in the, in the northeast current, that looks amazing in this. In terms of this being bad fan art, um... I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna tell you right now, I don't think that the drawing itself is terrible, but the whole composite of everything is pretty bad. Uh, considering that the theme here is just... Look at this place! I mean, what is the theme here? Underwater? It's boring! Not making fun of the way this is done, because the way Dory is drawn is beautifully done. Also, the striations with your brush stroke are amazing with the water. The only thing is, the ocean is a very beautiful place and it's a very amazing looking environment, especially the coral reefs. I think you can add a little more, even if it's just open ocean, try to add like some small details here and there, you know, like plankton or whatever, because there's always something floating in it. So, just keep doing what you're doing though. And now we come to the portion of the video where we get to look at Rule 34, Art of Finding Nemo, uh, words that I never would thought would come out of my mouth or be typed into my search bar so but first before we get into some nasty nasty nonsensical bullshit let's take a look at some terrible fan art so um magical hyena um you gotta do better bro i'm just gonna tell you right now the emotion is there but the composite um, and final execution of it oh boy there is a lot of flaws here and I'm not talking about the detail, because you can very well make a cartoon style. But the blur effect on the fins, that's unnecessary. Actually makes it look like it's behind Marlin here, instead of being attached to him. Second of all, I know fins in certain motions are kind of hard to draw, but that's what we have internet screenshots for. Or taking a style from somebody else and putting your own unique spin and twist on it. The texture here... I know you're going for sand, but last time I checked, sand is not gray. At least not in certain parts of the ocean. It's not. In fact, it's a very nice white color if you're considering the coral reef that Marlin lives in. So, bro, I hope you improve on this and I hope you grow as an artist. 
So I think brutal, blunt honesty is the only way to go with this. Took me a long time to figure this out. Um, hands are hard to draw, uh, especially on computers or uh, hand-drawn. Some people are really, really good at it. For me, it takes a little bit. But still, you could have Googled a picture of a hand and traced it, and I wouldn't have given a shit as long as it looks like a hand. In fact, this looks like a hamburger helper oven mitt that's skin-colored. Um, Nemo is in the shape of a large orange and white crack spoon for some reason. Uh, I think that's supposed to be Gil in the bag and he's now upside down dead. But before that, I thought it was a bag of Batman underwear that someone shit themselves at work and is now carrying it out in a bag and throwing it out so they don't die of embarrassment as they go home today. Regrettably, here we are, we're at the fish love portion of it, or as I call, Finding Nemo crumbling before my very eyes the way I remember it. So this is how many professional artists have done their spin on Rule 34, Finding Nemo. YMCA, it's fun to stay at the YMCA. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to fucking kill yourself, put your fucking hands up. Yeah, raise your plates in the air, everybody. Congratulations to you if you made it to the seven minute mark and went through that pile, swam through that pile of shit. Because we're about to read a fan fiction. Please give yourself a pat on the back of Cookie and a shot of vodka. Let's go. So here we have Dory Fighting Love by Egrus. Eogrus? I don't know. Sorry if I butchered that. Um, I'm getting uh, quite a fucking vibe off of this like it's a joke but also at the same time it's done to visually displease the reader at the same time and i'll link it in the description i'll see how far i could get into this dory was going for a walk her high heels crushing the pitiful coral beneath her after her adventure she decided that her mother was a nagging bitch and her father a pussy whipped creature so she renounced any feminism became an ugly hearted mega whore whose life revolved only around men she did an ass and boob transplant that gave her a humongous butt and gigantic knockers, as well as a deal with Ursula to get fine legs and a dripping puss. <laughs> okay, we're going there. Skip. Skipping. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah. I'm not going to read this out loud. Um, I'm just going to link it down below, and you guys can read it for yourself, okay? Okay? This is fucking... Damn, bro. So, yeah, I think you could see my reasoning for ending the video early here because reading that thing, just glancing over it, I was like, okay, there is a lot of fucking censoring I'm going to have to do. And you guys, that's all on you if you want to read that. Um, if you don't want to be scarred for life, I recommend not reading that. or I re And I recommend not looking up the Rule 34 imagery. But other than that, this was a... I wanted to keep this video short, and we ended up going to 8 minutes anyway. But thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to this channel. Leave me a comment down below. And support the Patreon. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.